Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code by weekly contest 108. Uh, again, obviously the first problem is an easy one, but just see the accuracy. Uh, honestly speaking, I think the accuracy is so low, uh, you know, because of the hassle that you have uh, when the server is not working, right? It happened today as well. But yeah, let's see, it's a tricky problem. But if you just do what the problem is asking you to do, just implement it, it won't uh, cause any issues right let's see what the problem is asking us to do the problem name is longest alternating sub array you are given a zero indexed integer array nums a sub array s of length m is called alternating if m is greater than one right this is one of the conditions which you you do not take care here you'll get wrong answer right also s1 equals to s0 plus one the zero indexed sub array s looks like s0 then s1 then again s0 then again s1 s0 s1 and so on in other words, S1 equals to S1 minus S0 is 1, S2 minus S1 equals to minus 1 and so on, right? Alternating. I'll tell you, okay? Return the maximum length of all alternating subarrays present in nums or minus 1 if no such subarray exists. Remember, minus 1 is when you do not get such a subarray because M has to be greater than 1, right? A single element will not form a subarray in this case, right? A subarray is a contiguous non empty sequence of elements within the array, right? So, what it is saying? just see this two three four three four so the pattern of the array should be like this this is two so the next element should be three now again the next element should be two so if it's two then three then again two then again three then again two then three right suppose you start with five next element should be six then again five then six so plus one minus one plus one minus one this is what the pattern of the sub array should be you have to return the maximum length of a, of such a sub array if you whatever you find right so just see here if you start from here what's the maximum length you can get you can get two three now the next three needed is two so it will not work it's just two if you start from three you get three four three four yes the length is four hence my answer is four right similarly if you start from four you the next element you get is five now the next element that you want is four but you got six so it's just these two elements that is forming a valid sub array now there are other possibilities five comma six as well you start from five you get six now you again want five but you do not have this element right so the maximum length of the sub array is two now just see here the constraints are the number of elements you can have in your array is 100 and each element can be 10 to the power 4 right so again an implementation based problem pick every index as the starting position of the array and just check what's the maximum length you can have if you start from this position that is what i've done here my answer is equals to zero now this is the starting position of the sub array right current length equals to one because a single element will obviously be a valid pattern in this case right obviously i'll not have to consider it i'll have to return minus one if the length of the sub array is one but i have to consider this element right current length equals to one this is add add is what's the value that you need to add right so it's alternating right once once you'll add one then minus one then one then minus one so to make things simple i've done it the next element should be nums of i okay this will become clear right so i the current position i start with i equals to zero so the next element should be j will start from i plus one right j will start from i plus one so what should be the next element whatever was my previous element plus add right if i start from x it should be x plus one so if nums of j equals to next current length plus plus else just break the loop getting it if this is valid if you do not break the loop add equals to add minus one so that means if add is plus one it becomes minus one in the next step then plus one in the next step minus one in the next step and so on right so ultimately this is what we do choose everything here at the starting position if i just do a dry dry run then suppose two three four three four this was my array right i is here so I, I start with two the next element has to be two plus one that is three yes it is the next element should be again two because add add becomes minus one you break the loop then you start from three this position right this is what we do simple brute force a couple of nested loops and you get it right so answer equals to math dot max of answer and current length this is what you need to do now most of the people they are getting wrong answer because of this check they have not added this check right what is that check that if you are getting a sub array of just length one right that means you do not get a sub array even of length two in that case you have to return minus one and not one so that's the other only condition that we need to add and you will not get wrong answer that's what i've done here right so i would say not uh, too much to learn here the only thing is that whenever you get the first problem and the constraints are low 
instead of applying too many algorithms right just go with the implementation it's not rocket science it's not the fourth level problem or the third level problem right you just have to do what the problem is asking you to do don't apply too much of logic and other stuff right here just see the constraint was low i just applied an n square loop that's it you have to solve the problem right uh, so yeah that's it for the solution i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each of them thank you take care bye bye